Okay, here we are outside of the Harborside Marina, and we're looking at the 38 launch Eurocopter. Now, you might look at this and say, wow, it looks a little bit different than what we've been looking at, but I gotta tell you, having sold a bunch of these 38 launches with different tops on them, the one thing that we uh, really wanted to try and accomplish was getting out of the weather a little bit for the customers that want to get out. Um, but still have an open, airy feeling. And this kind of solves the problem. We call it a launch, and it looks almost like a, a cruiser, but it's not. It's an outdoor boat with the ability for two or even four, four people to comfortably sleep and spend the night on their boat. Um, again, pointed with sapphire blue metallic paint, red boot stripe, you kind of get in the, the process here. Um, we do paint it side vents on our boat. Um, you can also see that we put bow rails on our boat and we also pattern put our bow rails a little bit different than all the other dealers out there. We've been doing this for a real long time. We like to have a little custom custom feel to them. Um, this is a big boat, big water boat. It's going to handle um, heavy seas, blue seas. Uh, I think Long Island Sound is probably one of the roughest borders we're getting into with the sloppy chop. Um, and it handles that unbelievable. Um, this is powered by a pair of 430 horsepower Mercury stern drives. Um, and we're going to climb up here and we'll show you the boat. Okay, so you can see right off the bat, uh, again, we're a heritage company. We put the full heritage package on here. Uh, we use the uh, full teak cockpit package, full teak floors, full teak rails, swim platform, and so forth. Um, if you look in the back over here, you'll see that this boat does have 30 amp shore power. It's got two lines, line one and line two, which uh, one is for air conditioner and one is for the main. Uh, you can actually power it off on one if you need to. It's got a transom ladder right over here uh, with a little rail to get up and on, off, and then this is just for your cable TV if you're hooked up to a dock. See the super heavy duty cleats that are built on this boat. Uh, again, this is, a, this is a big boat, weighs almost 18,000 pounds. And uh, it's set up for uh, for big water situations. If you come come up here right now, the one thing I like about this boat is it, it doesn't have a cockpit cover. It's got individual seat covers, which to me is the easiest way of getting on and off a boat and 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 usability. So it's got two back seats with seat covers on it. It's got a little transom door back here. It keeps people from falling out. Over here we have a hot and cold water. Transom shower, nice teak handrails to hold on to. And again, the tumble hole mat that we talk about, this is even on an extreme scale. To build this into the hull of a boat is a huge time consuming process. It is, it is not easy at all to do, but to get the look that we want where the gunnels and the freeboard is high, yet where the gunnels meet the hull is high, and it's just an unbelievable look that you just don't get. I mean, if you pan over here to these other Chris Crafts, you can see what I'm talking about. It's on all the models. Um, it's something that uh, Chris Craft is a signature. Okay. After you walk in here, you'll see again, we have full canvases on. We'll get the canvases off, and we'll uh, show you the rest of the boat. Okay, so the cockpit of this boat is awesome. Seating on both sides, there is a filler cushion that fits in here, so you have U-shaped seating, if you like. Super comfortable, super wide seats. Uh, excellent for entertaining if you're just sitting at the dock. Uh, you have mobile cigarette lighter adapter over here, courtesy lights throughout. Um, this is what I like, this is a cool feature of this boat. So we take all the cooking that never happens in a real boat, and we pull it outside where it can actually happen. Not many people are cooking steaks and eggs inside their boats because it ends up smelling. But if you have the cooking outside, you set the inside for sleeping or or you know just your daily routine, and you don't have to worry about clogging up the space, and it's usable. So out here we have our entertainment center. Okay, we have a grill, cooktop. Now we do something a little bit different here. Um, Chris Craft usually installs a refrigerator and an ice maker. We believe ice makers are a thing of the 70s and nobody really drinks the water on a boat. So we replace that with two refrigerators. And we have two refrigerators inside here as well as a microwave on the bottom. Hot and cold water. 
And the nice thing about this boat is it has a generator so you can control everything whether you're plugged in or not. Okay. Now from right here you can kind of see what this top does. It is super user friendly. It's just, it's got air coming through of it, but the, what it does is it just takes the wind off the front of your face when you're driving. And one of the features that we have added to this that isn't actually on the boat right now is we put strata glass on the sides over here. So if a customer wants to and they're out in a rainstorm or they're out in the freezing cold weather, they can actually sit inside here and be completely protected. As well as we are getting an eyes and glass uh, strata glass piece for the back. So when you're pretty much in a pilot house, if you want to be, you take it all off and you are in an open day boat that can be single-handed. Um, I also like, it's like a center console boat, but in a cruiser slash bow rider day boat. Um, the driver sits here, he's got two huge Garmin screens that control everything. It's got C-Zone, so we can control all of our switching and everything right from our our screens. Um, Skyhook joystick, which we talked about before, has the ability to have autopilot feature built into it, heading sensors, um, and joystick as well as Skyhook to be able to hold place where you, uh, where you are. Um, dash is right here, everything's easily controllable. Um, steering again is electronic, as is the shifters, all digital shifting and so forth. Our mercury gauges are right here, and they will digitally tell us what everything is doing with our engines. We also have backup gauges here, as well as we can see the gauges, navigation, and so forth on our screens when we're up and running. This boat has active trim, meaning that you turn the trim on and it will actively trim the boat to the dynamic in which it should be running, uh, which is a really cool electronic feature that it has right now. Uh, a little bit of storage underneath the footwell here, put your wallet and so forth. And again, like every other Chris Craft, all the breakers are right down here. So if there's a problem, a surge, or anything else, um, that's where we go. Uh, VHF radio is obviously uh, standard here, and the Fusion remote, again, which you can also control through all the screens and everything over here. Triple seats here, which is kind of nice. They all have the bolster seat so you can stand up. Yet, they all have the seat so you can sit down. And again, when you're riding in this boat, and it's trimmed out correctly, um, it's real comfortable to just sit here and drive. For me, I normally hit the uh, autopilot and just kind of stand around and enjoy myself. Uh, some people like to be hands-on and driving. Uh, for me, it's a little bit more more relaxing than that. We also have two storage doors underneath here. A lot of people keep maps, charts, and so forth. Most of the stuff is electronic, but it's nice to know how to do um, that kind of stuff as well. A little glove box over here. Okay. And uh, let's stay outside before we go inside and kind of look at this top here. It's, it is so contoured and so perfect for this boat. It really fits it nice. So what's cool about this top, what I love about it, it's aluminum, okay? Custom fitted just for this boat. It doesn't look like a uh, transformer with like uh, erector sets and bars all over the place to keep it strong and strength. Everything's open. It's completely open, it's so simple, yet it does such an awesome job. You have great protection back over here. You have a sure shade sunshade if you want to even go back further. I don't even think you need it, but it's got it on the boat. Color matched grill speakers throughout. It's got as well as the subwoofer and the amp that all the other Chris Crafts have as well. Up here we have a single windshield wiper. Um, we have vents to allow air in if we want air to come in. Sometimes you like to get a little air, but for the most part, when you're cruising down down the Sound or wherever you're headed to Nantucket, to Newport, or so forth, it's kind of nice to be able to have a conversation with somebody without wind whipping over you the whole time, and that's what this accomplishes. And that is uh, the big change um, that we like about this particular boat compared to the last couple of models. Again, we do custom powder-coated rails along the whole, the, all of our all of our boats. Just something that we we like to look of it. Takes your eye off of it, matches a little bit better. We also do the teak rails on the side, even though that's an extra option, um, besides the rails. This boat has a ton of storage. It's designed as a day boat to bring a ton of stuff with you and store a ton of stuff on. Everywhere you go on this boat, there's a huge compartment to store stuff in.
oh, this is a good time to talk about the Coast Guard packages and what we do on a on a rigging and prep of a new boat, any new Chris Craft. So any boat that we get, obviously we uh, have to freight it up here. We unload it. Um, we uncover it. We rig the boat, put batteries in it if needed. Uh, we go through every single system on the boat, make sure it's okay. We include uh, custom bottom painting on all our boats, uh, which seems easy, but it's really not. you got to tape the water line. you got to sand the entire bottom of the boat. you got to prime it, and you got to paint it, as well as the drives, the trim tabs, and so forth. It's a, To do it correctly, it's a time-consuming project, but uh, we only do it one way, which is a correct way. We include a custom Coast Guard package with fleece fender covers. Because all of our boats are painted, we do not want to scratch them. We use color match lines. We use uh, life jackets, flare kit, fire extinguisher, and so forth. Um, it's a real nice kit. Uh, we also do a really nice christening ceremony when we, uh, when we deliver these boats and sprinkle a little holy water on for good luck as well. So as we walk around this boat, you'll see there's doors and storage everywhere you look. These floors all open up for big storage compartments. And that's what it was designed to do. It was designed to be a boat that you can carry a bunch of toys and so forth with. Inside here we have our day hatch to our engine compartment. There is also a full hatch that opens up electronically, but this allows us to go in there and inspect our hatches, uh, inspect our engines and make sure everything looks copacetic before we uh, we get going. And you can see right down here, there's your uh, uh, generator, fire boy system, um, battery charger, uh, that's your uh, holding tank and all components, hot water heater, sea strainers, filters, and so forth. Everything's very easy to get at. Um, and uh, this is stuff that uh, makes it nice for us when we deliver a boat, talk to customers. Again, finished hatches on both sides, uh, which is really nice. You don't see that in a lot of other boats. Okay, let's walk up here. I'll see more storage here. This is storage as well as our battery switches are out of the weather. And all of our circuit breakers. Very easy to read, very easy to understand. Okay, one of my favorite components of this boat is this. And it's something you normally find on 80 foot boats and bigger. It does not have a huge bow where people try to lay it on towels or try to make some kind of contraption to put a, a, a lounge chair out there. It's got a sunken sun lounge that is similar you find in, 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 a, in a mega yacht. And it's so usable, it's unbelievable. Once you get in here, you've got a sunken board area with a sit pit right here, okay? But you have very comfortable lounges right here that you could fit multiple people with and you have handrails. So you can run the boat and sit out here and still get you know an awesome tan and, uh, and enjoy the ride. In addition, it's got a built-in filler cushion that slides over and creates a full sun lounge here. All integrated right in here. On this floor hatch, all chain. Again, we only do all chain windlasses. We think it's the best. Less problems and so forth. These cushions open. And we have access to our windlass. Okay? Once again, our windlass is controllable by a remote control over here. So we can sit here, right here, up and down. We want to activate our windlass. As well as at the helm, if you want. Speakers, color match, lights, everywhere. Oversized cleats, embossed with Chris Craft, chafing guards, powder coated rails, all signatures of the Chris Craft. Even the little powder coated rails over here. Let's walk back. Actually, you know what? This is a good shot for you to take, which is uh, kind of the streamline of the boat as it's coming through the water. And you can see the protection that you're going to get when you're out there. Um, you're going to get the air, but you still get the protection, which is really awesome. That antenna at the top is for your GPS and your seat. Um, your uh, skyhook control. There's a VHF antenna on the other side that's uh, in the down position because we had launched this boat with, uh, or picked this boat up with traveling. Okay. 
one more function I want to talk to you about. Is right here, this is actually an electronic table. And if I had batteries on the boat, I would uh, show you how it works. But basically, it's a switch at the dash. You push a button, and this table will automatically rise, flips open, and gives you full uh, seating ability to have dinner out in the back. Okay, let's go inside the cabin and take a look. All right, so we have a full cabin door on a slider, which is really nice. A lot of people don't even know this option after they've owned a boat for a while. But it's got a screen door, too. Uh, and a lot of times around here in New England, very rarely do you need heat and air conditioner. Uh, a lot of times you just open up a hatch and have the, the wind blowing through and it's kind of nice. But what you're going to see about this boat is it's got awesome out outdoor space and inside is even bigger. Okay. Wide open, no cooking. If you want to sleep on this boat, you have an island bed that's super comfortable for any size guy or lady. And uh, it's airy, it's light, it's got all the amenities that every other cruiser boat has. TVs. Uh, one of my favorite things about this boat is it's got a private head and a separate shower. So on this side, we have a real usable head that's not crammed, that's not small. And it's not getting wet when you take a shower. And we have the ability to do this because we moved all of our cooking outside. Now, once again, you have a full shower that you can really use and not worry about getting water all over the place. So even if you're going for a day trip or if you want to spend the night someplace, it's a perfect boat. Even if we have a lot of customers that use the boat just as a day boat, and it's a nice way if the kids are out, you know, you're at the fireworks and the kids want to sit down and watch some TV or hang out and relax and get out of the sun, they can do it. Um, great storage over here. There's our flag up. Here's our uh, fleece fender covers. Ordered Harbor Side Yacht Sales, made by Main Point. That's our filler cushion for the back. Hanging rod, or uh, hanging closet rod. Storage over here, you have a separate fusion control radio, DVD player, uh, some brochures, some sunshades for up here. Um, storage underneath these sides. People don't realize that these open. There is storage under here. Outlets on both sides for your uh, cell phones. This is kind of cool too. This lifts up. And we have storage underneath the V-Birth. Okay? Uh, comes with Custom sheets for your pillows and your linens, as well as these nice little fill-ins that fit nicely. Oh, I say nicely, but there we go. Into here to get the light out. Floor storage. Pretty deep, goes all the way down. And then this boat does have an aft cabin, and it's not small, and it's definitely usable. It's got one double side and one single side berth. It's got a TV in there, it's got outlets in there, and it's got storage in there, which is pretty much all you need if you're going to bring some kids. Some people will just, you know, use it for storage, but it's definitely uh, it's Amish, which is the true story of County. pretty user-friendly. Okay, one more thing I want to point out while we're in here is this shore power panel switch. Now, everything in Chris Craft comes to here. All our wiring comes here. This allows us to start our generator, put all of our 12 volt on. It allows us to put all of our AC on, stereo, TVs, the whole nine yards. Everything comes to here. So when I flip the switch off and my battery switches off, I know everything's off, everything's off and I'm not going to have to worry about a dead battery when I come back in. Nice open feel when you're standing inside. Again, it's 38-foot boat with inside and equally as nice outside room.